But I used a lot of mana. Ugh, I used like all of our mana. Still pretty badass, but oh, thanks, Jack. Um, but yeah, that was oof. that was a lot of mana to use. Uh, let's drink some clean water while we're here. We got everything in the chest. What else did we get in the chest? Oh, we got this. Dagger that inflicts bleeding. Oh, it's an offhand dagger weapon. That's really good. Ooh. Oh, let's fill this up too while we're here. Gather. Does that fill it up completely? It does. That's convenient. I can't get over to this. Uh... Oh, damn. I thought I could maybe make it over to that shipwreck. I... Dude, how did a ship get inside of a mountain? What is going on with that ship? I am curious. There's some good fishing down here, apparently, but I didn't bring a spear, unfortunately. Where are we going right now? Super magic? Maybe. That'd be fun. I, I, I like magic, but I really like super magic. Oh! Palladium! Nice! Ooh! Okay, so that earlier said it was a rare material, so it looks like there may be stuff hidden in the water. We're gonna have to keep our eyes peeled, man. Oh, is that a corpse? No. Can I use the sigil? Uh yeah, let me let me get to um Let me let me get to some more enemies and I'll and I'll show you what the fireball stuff does. There oh Oh no. Okay, hopefully this will work. Here we go. Ready? First, we unequip our lantern. Then, we put it here. Then we put oil here. Then I combine it. Yeah. I just did it again. And probably wasted some stuff. Because I'm smart. Okay. Um, boop. Good. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's go back to that area I was talking about earlier. I think it's this way. There was a door. Yeah, it's back here. It's that door right over there to the left. You can see. The flamethrower used like a fifth of the oil in the lantern. Oh, so not only does the flamethrower take mana, but it also takes... Okay. Okay. Good to know. Can you flamethrower backwards if the lanterns hang from your backpack? No, that's more of a fart flame. Like a that's a little bit different. Yeah. That's that's a, that's a different type of magic. Oh, shit. Um... Okay, so you guys want to see the, the fireball, right? Let's do it. Here we go. Sigil is down. And now, fireball. This is our spark skill. So you see now, spark actually becomes a projectile. Which is pretty great. And that's only because we're standing in this sigil right now. Although it looks like we can't hit him there. Move over a little bit more, bro. Come on. Oh, maybe it's maybe it's range limited. I don't know if that's because he was being blocked or because he was out of range. Worked great the first two hits. Uh, loot the mana troglodyte. There we go. We're gonna take his staff. We're gonna break that down for the crystals. Even though I'm not really using them right now, but that's okay. Uh, we need to figure out to somehow turn the mana crystals into like a mana pot. I don't I don't know how to do that. Uh, antidote. Occult remains. Ew. Uh, mineral tea. We'll take that. Okay, let's use a bandage. The staff reduces mana cost too. Yeah, but I, I really, really like our uh, big club right now. The big club is doing work. So. Oh, we gotta eat. Munch. There we are. Now, what is this stuff? What are you? Oh. 
you're you're nothing. Okay. I definitely thought that would be something. Those stairs go somewhere. How do you regain mana? I don't know yet. I think you can meditate or something. They alluded... Oh, shit. They alluded to that a little bit at the beginning. Um, oh, I am... I am hurting. Why am I not hitting these guys so much damage? Oh, I'm dead. Shit. Destroyed. Alright, this is our first death. Let's see what happens. Uh... Your body and mind are broken. All that's left is to await the release of death. Strange purple auras swirl around you, and you give yourself to them, riding a strange dreamlike current, passing stars and ghostly figures. It is the dull aches that wake you. The magical auras are not gone, but now you can sense their source. You are in the central chamber below the Conflux Mountain, in the care of the Watchers of the Leyline. Oh. Backpack is gone. I notice that mages don't wear helmets. Why not? Light headgear. Okay. Uh, so do I need to go back and get my backpack? And I lost some money. I had like 400 money, didn't I? Dude, I hope my backpack is back there. Because there was a lot of stuff in there. Let's go find out. Oh, I got some more mana back. That's good. What's this little buff I have on me? Mana cost reduction. Oh, interesting. Maybe that's because we rested there. I can flamethrower again. So that should help with those guys, huh? EQ corpse run. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That's it, They feel like corpse runs. That is That is the truth. Oh, look, they kept their health low, too. How cool. Much better. Nice. Still got walloped a bit, but that's okay. Now, hopefully, if this game's amazing, my backpack is just sitting over here. If it's not amazing, I don't get it back. Which should be... Oh, God. Isn't that where I died? Oh, shit. Wait a second. Did I lose my backpack forever? Is that how this game works? You die and you just lose your pack? My backpack was in the conflicts chamber? Let me go back and take a look. I hope it was. Someone said it spawns next to you where you wake up. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go back and look in there. I To be fair, I did not look around there as hard as I should have. So maybe it's like on a table outside the door or something. I did just kind of notice I did in my backpack and run back. So let's take a look. I would not be surprised if I just missed something. There's the bedroll. There's some linen cloth and a fishing harpoon. This is where I woke up. Um, it shows on my compass? I don't... Oh. Oh. Oh, it does. Oh, you think it... You think it's up top? Is it by the first... Maybe it's up top. That's cool. I just, yeah, I just noticed on the very top, you can see where it shows our bag. Up. Oh, yep. Bada boom. Beautiful. Well, that's a cool system. I like it. I like it. Let's drop that. So we just, whenever we die, we just need to look at it at the top and, and we can see exactly where our bag is. We can go grab it again. Cool. I think I do need to rest though. Let's, let's take a look at this rest system now that we have mana. Excuse me. 
Can I not rest here? I thought I could rest here. Maybe not. Here. Excuse me. Okay. Sleeping heals tiredness, max health, and max stamina, but does not reduce, but reduces your max mana. Um. Okay. So how much does four hours do? And then how do we get the max mana back? Yeah, you can see it reduced it reduced my my max by almost a quarter. Um Hmm. I want to train with you. I can teach you to gain mastery over the cold. A boon of cool will allow you to resist the cold and frost, increasing the power of your own ice magic. Deal. I can already taste the Lux Lachette. So to cast the boon of cold, you just pull in any source of cold around you. Awesome. Okay. Well, we just got another skill. Fantastic. Let's pop that in here. Grants you cool boon, which increases your frost damage and frost resistance. It also increases your protection in hot weather. Okay. Maybe I can just use the mana crystals? No. But it says, it like, we need to find an alchemy table. Is there an alchemy thing here? I, I think I may know some health potions or something, but I... Or, excuse me, mana potions, but I don't... I haven't seen an alchemy table in a long time. I had an alchemy thing that I could put on a campfire, but it weighed five pounds. I can't carry that around with me everywhere. Ain't nobody got time for five pounds. That's a lot of pounds. Max mana recovers by itself as you are awake. Oh, yeah, it has gone down a little bit. Look at that. Oh, interesting. That's a cool system. Uh, yeah, I like that. Thinking about playing this with the wife on the couch. Thoughts? I think that's awesome. If you both like open world RPGs, you're probably in for a ride. Thanks, Go, for the eight months. I will never forget your RimWorld streams. All the best to you and your family from a fellow dad. Thank you, Rafko. Appreciate that, my dude. Also, we have uh, Val Valden the Unclean with a thousand cheer. What's my first impression of the game? Is it worth picking up? I think this game is pretty great. If you're a fan of open world RPGs, like, this is pretty great so far. Um, yeah. Polar D-Bear with a thousand cheer as well. Thank you for that. Soggy gifting Kia Chira. Awesome, dudes. Thank you for your support. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Let's. I think we're done. Let's go. Oh, oh wait, no, we're not done. We got to keep exploring that area. We got to keep exploring that area. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So I think the plan right now is I'm going to um, finish this area I'm running to now, and then run, grab something to eat. I, I should probably eat today because um, I didn't have breakfast. And uh, then I'll come back and we'll do a few hours of Pathfinder. Or probably a couple hours of Pathfinder in the afternoon. I think we'll do that. Yeah. That being said, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to play this game tomorrow morning. 8 a.m. EDT. I'm going to be back playing this game tomorrow morning. Um, I, I said that I was going to try this game and see how it is. And I can tell you that it is definitely good enough for me to keep playing it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to play this game tomorrow morning too. So Sekiro is on a slight pause for a little bit. I hope you guys can bear with me on that. I'm sorry. But we're going to put Sekiro on a little bit of a pause. Oh, that's not what I mean. Uh, oh, God. That thing tracks me. There we go. Yo, this place is loaded with people. Um, We got to let our stamina come back. Oh, this is like a proper dungeon we're getting into right now. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Yo, what's up, girl? Damn. Cool. 
Oh my god, dude. What is what, what is this place? This is this is gigantic. Oh Jesus. Um Let's do this right. There we go. Still took a hit, but that's okay. Got some water to drink too. Ew. Oh, what were they doing to that guy? Jesus. Rude. Okay, seriously, how big is this place? <laughs> yeah, let me just finish up this little dungeon here and three hours later. Oh, 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 these are good. These are good. Ah, this one wasn't. <laughs> That's okay, though. Go ahead and eat the food. Anytime I come across food that I'm not going to take with me, I might as well just eat it, right? I don't think I don't think I can become too much of a fatty in this game. Have you tried using the flamethrower in the sigil of fire? Does it do anything? Oh, I have no idea. That's a good question. Oh, that's a giant purple. No, no. No. Um, nope. Oh, God, look at that one. She's, like, trapped in there. That booty, though. That is a rock-hard booty. Is there anything here? Mana stones. Where are my mana stones? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about you. I'm, I'm not convinced that that's a good thing to attempt to attack. But what I am convinced we can do is maybe go around it? We already got this one, right? No, we didn't. It's a different... Oh, well, let's take it all, and that way it's empty. Okay, good. So I think the spider thing... Fought... Yep, it followed us through the tunnel, so now we can go where it was. Which is back here on the right, I think. We're gonna get trapped in here, which is a terrible decision. But maybe there's some loot or something we can grab? Or maybe there's absolutely nothing in here. Oh, God. I've made a huge mistake. Um, okay. Oh. The mining pick is badly damaged. Can I, can I just repair this? No. Is there some way I can repair a weapon? Um. Hmm. The loot was inside me all along. Oh, that's great. That's that's just that's great. Yeah, you can repair during sleep, but that's the thing. Like, I'm kind of at a big disadvantage if I sleep now because I'm a mage. Okay, you know what? We're going to try this. Oh! How are you almost dead? Okay, I'm pretty sure that did sizably more damage because we were standing in the fire circle, which is pretty badass. Doing it live, boys! Woo! <laughs> I have no idea why it why that happened, but it happened. Um, okay. Oh. Doosh. Doosh. Just threw some fireballs at that fool because we were standing in our fire circle and we used our basic spell and that converts our basic spell into a fireball spell because it's awesome. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like being a mage in this game. It's not like playing a mage in other games. It's it's a little bit uh it's got some tricks to it. Oh. Hell yeah, I'll take those fire stones. That means we can put more of those down. Uh okay, I think that's it in this area. I'm pretty sure that's about it. 
There's no gate. I need a gate in this game. I need a spell that, like, shoots me back to a bind point or something. Oh. Wait. I don't remember. What is, what is this? Oh. Oh. A small sapphire. Oh, and a full pickaxe. Hell yeah, dude. Drop that shit. Oh, look at that! It sees that we're next to a corpse and lets us move. Oh, that's cool. So we just like, okay, okay. That's going to make using uh, managing containers a lot easier. I like it. I like it. Okay. Man, there's so many little cool QOL things in this game. Something we noticed earlier that's pretty awesome is like when you have a stack of things that are rotting, you can right click on the stack, look at the entire stack and see which individual items are rotting in the stack. It's that kind of stuff, man. I like that stuff. That's really cool. It's the little things. Did we go in here yet? This doesn't look familiar. Oh, shit. Nope. 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 This guy, I think we can just man mode. Yeah, I'm gonna man mode this dude. Going in. Ow. Boom! Great. Grab that for our lantern. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what is this? Um, my mouse is like snapping to a direction. This is a little bit weird. Oh, we're back at the beginning. Good, good. Alt tab and come back in. Eh, it seems to be fine now. Okay, we're fine now. Cool. We really need to find an alchemy bench because I need to see how in the hell I am going to get all my mana back. Whoa. Knight's Corpse? Astral Potion! Oh, here we go. That's one way to get mana back, I guess. So, oh wait, 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 if I break down the Astral Potion, oh, I can't. Some items you can break down and learn what they are. Maybe I can break it down in an alchemy place, though. I need to, I really need to find an alchemy bench and see what we can do with it. Oh, we're back here. Cool. Okay. So, at this point, I just kind of need to find our way out. I want to say it's around here. Yeah. I think those are the two guys that killed us earlier. Why is this chest lit up? Is it not empty? Oh, that's right. We don't need this stuff. I think the occult remains. I don't know why. I, mean, I like having bones in my bag. Okay. I think the purple apple food gives you mana. This guy? Hey, mana restoring properties. Is it going up? Oh, maybe I have to, like, cook it into something. Recover 0.2 mana per second. Okay. Uh, so it's a slow recovery. That's what that is. Um, do I need to save my game or anything? What is chat? Oh, there's a chat system for if you're playing multiplayer. That's great. That's great. See how that works, Anthem? <clears throat> yeah, I have Aquamarine now, too, so we need to go back and do that at some point. For sure. Oh, 
Oh, no one sees how that works, Anthem? Because they've all been moved to other projects already? Oh, Sad face. Um... Boop. Mm. Astral Potion. Yes, that's a mana pot. I want that. I also want Firestone. Because that's what I use to do my summoning circles. Let's do that too. Uh, Termnip. This is a Termnip. And this is a Termnip Potage. Which I'm assuming... Do we have... Chunky stew that has mana restoring properties and will slowly heal the common cold. Okay, we're, we're definitely gonna get that. Oh, there's an alchemy kit, but again, 60 silver? No, I'm not gonna do that. We'll, we'll just find another one. Um, already known for the turnip potage, so we don't need that. These I don't know though, so we're gonna get those. Thanks, chat. Good call on that. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Can I make any of this in the field? No. Not surprised, though. Okay. Mm. Little F. That's fine. Uncanny Valley. Two years. Been an amazing part of this community. This channel has helped me more than any of you will ever know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Good vibes from Uncanny Valley Live. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that, bud. Uh, we also have Lacerate with the two years as well. Their message is... Cabbage. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Cool. I appreciate it. Whoa. Oh, we're by that bandit fort that um, appropriated me earlier. Good to know. Weren't we near the ship? Didn't at one point I was like, oh, look, there's the ship. And then I never went and got it. Was that over here? No, maybe it was down here. I think we're down here. Um, I don't know where the damn ship is. We, we still need to find that, that the, the wreck. Hmm. What is going on with that sail system? It's like a cone yo what is that that looks cool man oh it's got some magic shit on it oh look at that it's like glowing is that a stargate are the chevrons locked uh mine amylite sure cool oh wait a second If I get padded armor, I can make this. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there's a campfire and a dead guy over here. Oh, is that the guy I killed earlier? I think that's the dude I killed like when we escaped from here the first time. Do corpses never... Yeah, that's the stuff I dropped right there. Dude. Do corpses never disappear in this game? I'm wearing padded armor? No, I don't think I'm wearing padded armor. I'm wearing some cold armor. I'm wearing fur armor. Yeah, it's different. Hmm. Five days in-game time. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we, we need to go to that uh, little dungeon we found earlier, because I kind of want to see what's past that aquamarine door. And we actually have multiple aquamarines now. So, I mean, if there's... You know, I said I was going to go join that faction, but the more I think about it, I kind of want to, like, go around this map first. And, like, what's the Cabal of the Wind Tower? What's this fort? Like, you know, there's... What's those ancient ruins? I'm, I'm, I may want to do some stuff around here. Oh, my lantern's on, yeah. But that, of course, will be exactly what we start with tomorrow morning. Yeah.
I hope you guys enjoyed day one of this game. This has been pretty great. Um, big thank you again to the devs who provided us with a key so I could actually start at 8 a.m. What I'm going to do right now, it is currently 1.30. I am going to run and get some food and get back here as... Oh, Sayori gave me some stuff. Wait a second. So I know you refused the last gift since you already pre-ordered it on GOG. I hope none of these are on the list. Sticks Shard of Darkness. Awesome. Thank you very much for that, Sayori. Insufficient privilege. I get that all the time. Mo Curry. Adorable plus tactics. Okay. Nelky Legendary Alchemist. That's a lot of Japanese characters on that one. Um, Life is Strange. Oh, that's kind of awesome. Thank you. That I, I actually want to play that at some point. Maybe down the road. Valkyrie Chronicles 4. That was a really good game too. You got me right. Dude, what, how much did you get? My lord. Awesome. Thank you, Sayori. You are an absolute boss. I appreciate it. Thank you. You just gave us all the things. Um, awesome. Oh, I have to get, do I have to get this first? And then maybe I can get this one? Yeah, okay. I think it was like a sub thing for that one. Cool. Well, huge thanks, Sayori. Man, that's super cool. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, anyway, my dudes, I am out of here for now. I will be back by 2.30 or earlier for at least a couple hours of Pathfinder this afternoon. Um, when I am done with that this afternoon, I'll be off for the rest of the day. And again, I may have to go a little bit earlier because my son. So we'll have to see. But then tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. EST, we are EDT now. Daylight savings, yay. Uh, at tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. EDT, we'll be doing another round of this game. Now, I do need to say tomorrow morning... Uh, I do have a technician coming out to look at the internet. Uh, he is coming from far away, if you follow it, uh, follow me. And he is going to be here at 11, I think. So I may have to end a little bit early tomorrow. And then, of course, tomorrow afternoon is going to be drop frames. If there is no drop frames, uh, actually, no, I am I'm off tomorrow afternoon because my wife wants me to be off. And that's what she's going to get. So I will be off tomorrow afternoon. But if there's a drop frames, which is a weekly talk show that I'm on, we will be hosting drop frames. If there is not a drop frames tomorrow, then we will host a rerun here in the channel. So if you come if tomorrow afternoon, something will be playing here. I won't be live, but it'll either be a fun talk show to watch or Pasco playing some Bioshock 2 maybe. Um, should be fun. But tomorrow morning, definitely will be live with more Outward. And I very much hope you join us for that. And then, of course, on Thursday, we should be probably doing more Outward in the morning and then Pathfinder in the afternoon. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But anyway, dudes, I'm out of here for now. I will see. Oh, oh. Circo said, JP yesterday said there's no DF this week. Yeah, I'm off. I'm off DF and, and Zeke is, is out of town. So that makes sense. So in that case, we most likely will be having a rerun where we're, I think I'm going to, we're going to be finishing Bioshock 2 tomorrow in the rerun. And then we'll be starting a Bioshock Infinite after that. So it should be fun. But anyway, guys, thank you for being here. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are on the globe. If I don't see you in about an hour for, uh, for Path, Pathfinder, Hope to see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. EDT from our Outward. Uh, some uh, TLDR, because I saw some people asking this. Yes, I like Outward. It's a lot of fun. It's a big open world to explore with a lot of fun RPG mechanics. I'm very much enjoying it, and I am very much looking forward to playing more tomorrow morning. So, anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.